This is a short video on how to use the responsive tables module in Drupal 7. Uh, so you go to responsive tables, it's a pretty basic idea. Um, whenever you use views, you get this responsive uh, option for tables. And then you set, uh, basically you're setting two snap points. Uh, I recommend using the 2x version because as the documentation says here on the project page, it's a backport of what will be available in Drupal 8. So, see what this does is I have it applied to this table. And so as we move in, we see have academic unit kind of just disappear. And then as we move in further, we have program disappear. Uh, this allows you to obviously present less information on mobile displays that might not be as crit mission critical to have. Uh, so let's look at how you set that up. You're in the view and settings, you look for responsive. And none means it's always going to be displayed. Uh, this means academic unit is low priority, so it'll be the first thing to go. Program is medium priority, so it'll be the second snap point to go. After you do that, you want to go to appearance and settings. And you'll see at the bottom of your theme, you do this per theme. Uh, there's responsive table settings. So you open that up, and then you can put in uh, what you want this to be. So we'll say it's 980 and 720. Save. Uh, or what I used for the CIS overview theme. Scroll down. It was 980, 740. Okay, so very close. Close, and then that's all you have to do. So then we'll go in. Now you can apply this to any table. It's very simple, uh, very effective. And it's Drupal 8 compatible.